once a war party, an ancient race of humans discovered magical powers and named it after their tribe, Goan Power. The Goan discovered various uses for this power, to create life, control it and end it, along with various other applications, including the creation and control of various dinosaurs. The tribe quickly advanced and enjoyed long periods of prosperity. The expansion occurred too quickly, however, and inevitable war broke out as the tribe was divided on the true purpose of the Go and power. After a long, bloody conflict, only remnants of the Goan culture remain, but their artifacts still contain the energy that started it all. Foreign tribes popped up years later and spread across the world. The dinosaurs, no longer fully bound to Goan power, roam free and wild across the land. But tribes have noticed their tendency to gather near ancient shrines. Each division of the Goan left behind their artifacts with writings so that someday one may pick them up and carry out their will. The combination of these artifacts with powers contained in the ruins of ancient temples can achieve these goals. Greetings everyone and welcome to a War Party with me, Kemzip. Today we shall be playing this lovely new, actually, well not fully new, but actually quite um, polished, uh, well not very old, let's say that. Um, and we shall be playing this lovely game, I'm gonna quickly try to check out the settings real quickly with the audio as well, to make sure that our sounds as well, the music a little bit is low, dialogue as well a little bit. We'll keep these up towards this place. We'll check also our video, uh, good quality, actually let's go for beautiful, apply, yes. Yes, video settings, of course, I can apply with beautiful. Um, we're going to do some single player and start with the tutorial as you always have to do so in each uh, new game because you can never know what will happen and obviously you would like to see, um, of course, how you're going to play this because every strategy game has a different function. Be it with Stronghold or Age of Empires, you can check out these uh, tutorials as well if you want to. But afterwards, we're going to continue with the campaign. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you're new and would like to see me playing the campaign. But uh, let's get going. Hail, Chieftain. Hail, brother. A few raptors have set up their nest to the north of this encampment. It's only a matter of time before their population becomes too hard to handle. Better stomp it out now so it won't threaten our base. Sure. So what we have to We're do is... We're also in dire need of food, so we can kill two raptors with one stone. You will need to bring us along for a smooth hunt. To do so, hold down the left mouse button and drag a box around all units you want to select. Okay, well, we can do that. Selected units can be given various commands. The most common way is to hover the cursor over objects and use the right mouse button. Doing so on the ground will order units to move there. Sure. Are you guys done with talking? Yeah? Okay, cool. So, anyway, what we have to do is select a hunting pod and move them to the north. We have a warrior, a basic infantry unit, an armored destroyed beast. We have a Mika, leads her people to protecting from their enemies with her sword and healing skills. She believes in harmony and learning from nature. Cool. We also have a medic, you know, heals and all that, so let's move on. Let us hunt! We're nearing the raptor nest to attack them. Hover the cursor over them and press the right mouse button to attack. For the Wildlanders! Kill them! Enemy Once an attack command is given, we will only attack that target until it is dead. Well done. That should keep us safe a little longer. You have my what attention. raptors carry in aggression, they lack in meat. We could still use more. Mouse in everything. There's tracks leading north of here that belong to a Triceratops. Those provide plenty of meat. 
Cool, let's go. Unlike other wild dinosaurs, Triceratops will not attack unless provoked. Let us hunt! Liar! Combine movement and attacking. Screw an attack move. A successful hunt! Good. Our scouts have already set up the foundations for Let a base. Hunt. Looks like they just finished up building the settlement. Nice. New frontiers await. Hmm. Did you hear that? Sounds like Ready trouble at the western gate of our settlement grounds. For man and beast, I leave. Let us hurry and investigate. Sure, let's go. We must move. I assume it's here. It appears that this enemy tribe is looking for a fight. Bastard. We will give it to them. We stand but not united. in this condition. We will need to prepare it properly first. We can use the food we've acquired from the hunt to build up our base. Let's grow our forces and strike them down. Sure. Those gates should keep them out while we prepare. Some villagers are already here, but we need more. What you need? We're at your service, Chieftain. We suggest you task us with gathering some resources first. Sure, sure. We'll let you- and Then use those resources to train more villagers and expand. We shall. Don't There's worry. two major resources, food and crystal. How do we acquire those? Select a villager and right-click a crystal node or berry bush near the settlement to order us to start gathering from them. Villagers will automatically gather until they cannot carry any more and return to a drop-off point. Like the settlement. You got the hang of it. We should build a farm next. We shall. Uh, let's do that because we are... Build a farm, select a villager, then press the build menu button in the lower left corner of the action panel to the right side of the screen. Ah, uh, we can... Oh, produce select food. Select a farm by clicking the button, then move the mouse cursor to the place where you want to build it and press the left mouse button. Excellent! Now you know the basics to build up your economy. Build more farms and train more villagers. Maintaining a healthy economy is key to victory. We shall. We also require some houses to support our growing population. Houses are efficient, but can only provide a total of 120 population. Building additional settlements is the only way to pass this no limit, more room but only room four room. settlements can be built in total. Let's build it there. A little bit far away from our uh, enemies and all that. But yeah, anyway, finally they stopped talking. <laughs> um, we're gonna continue gathering our resources like we are already doing so. Like, we have a lovely economy right now. We're gonna build another farm as they told us to do so. A bit close to our settlement. Here we go. And let's gather some people here because they seem to gather like three people can go over here. So it's nice. Look at that. We're gonna let me get all of food. time to start training some troops. Sure. Let's prepare by building a barracks and a medic hut. Sure, here we will build them. Uh, let's see. Uh, barracks is this. Here we go. Let's continue also gathering the resources because we need to. Here. Ready and able. I like the music as well. Gosh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, they also seem to have the uh, shift button where you can automatically continue and get, how should I say, people going. Alright, uh, let's just place another villager here to build a house. Q. I can't put that building there. Liar. So it's also cool that you can choose. Nice job. What you need. From the barracks, you can train more warriors. We're strong against beast units. Very vulnerable to ranged units. You can train more medics from the medic hut. We cannot Ready fight, able. but heal other units instead. Move! What you need? There we go, Building finally. more military buildings allows faster production of units. Never rely on just one building. 
Bah. You are training us. You now have a decent army. But don't forget about that your own abilities, good. Chieftain. As the leader of this tribe, you can improve all run. our abilities through your leadership talents. Uh, At all the start you of use... every battle and every time your settlement advances, you may select one of two talents. Click the talents button at the top of the screen to reveal two talent flags. Sure, well, sure, right. I need to see what this Mr. Killing Click does. Talent to receive the bonuses. Picking the right talents for your strategy or situation can make a big difference in battle. Okay, well, move. Come on. I need to see what this thing does. Okay, Mystic Healer. All units receive two regeneration. Metatics are 25% cheaper. I think we should do that because we do not uh, have things. Well, they have some dinosaurs, I think. I don't know. You know, let's just There's do this. One more step we can take to guarantee our victory. You have work? With enough materials, our tribe can improve our settlement and allow new technology and units to become available. You have work? Select the settlement and research the settlement upgrade to advance to the next tier. Let's place a storage hut here because there's a this diamond there. This process takes a while. In the meantime, build another barracks so we can train troops more quickly. Where yeah. will I get paid for Crystals work? near the settlement will eventually run out. Building Time a storage hut near crystal nodes will make gathering them more efficient. Sure. <laughs> We're even creating more troops, so let's There's go for it. There's a crystal node east of the settlement. Let's can build a storage here. hut there. With a new settlement comes a variety of new... Ready and able. We have Earthly. no more room You can for choose a new talent. Every time you upgrade. Second, our villagers can construct new buildings, and existing buildings contain various upgrades as well. Let's build a stables first. Ooh, arches. Yeah, we have no population thing again. Hold on, let's. Our report the enemy army consists mainly of bone adepts, an infantry unit Ready like and our able. warriors. Infantry units are what strong against beast units from our stables, but weak to ranged units like archers. Fortunately, our saber tooth archers count as both beast and ranged units, making them very versatile when properly protected. Sure. As for warriors, upgrading us to fire warriors when with the new technology in the barracks will greatly improve our strength. I feel what this. What is crushing? Using the right units for the job can make the difference between victory and defeat. Work? So, what do we have now? Uh, unit stables are 10% cheaper and faster. All units uh, building, uh, all units of buildings receive armor. Cost powers is reduced. Uh, I think I would like that actually because they have a bunch of bow units and all. So let's just go for it. Uh, let's also make some more warriors and some archers here. Nice. So let's stop this one and make more archers and let's go for it. Yeah. Point to enemy. Ready Please and match. able. Let's make another stable. Lol. We're prepared, Chieftain. I recommend the use of the attack move command Loyalty to spread out our united. attacks to multiple targets. Open the gates for the attack. Charge! We must move. Uh, attack move. Enemy contact. Now, yeah, look at that. We're good and ready to go. Dead bastard. Our victory belongs to Let the Wildlanders! Go. Chieftain, our scouts report the enemy tribe was New investigating an away. ancient Goan shrine to the east. Enemy contact! We should attempt to capture it for ourselves. Ancient spells can be cast by harnessing the power of the Goan. Sure! As long as one unit Balance. remains on a captured shrine, it will not change owners. Enemy contact! 
capture shrines slowly generate power points and provide vision to the holder and their allies. Use power. We can also have our villagers build going totems to generate more points, although they're less efficient than shrines. What you need? Uh. Ah! A T Rex Time is being to drawn towards the shrine. Chieftain, use your powers to help us defeat it. We already did. Click a power from the bar at the bottom of the screen. Some activate automatically, while others must be targeted. Eyes open. Weapon United. ready. How? Targeted powers can be placed on a location look. where you have vision by pressing the left mouse button. Uh, use gain or armor here. Let's go. Congratulations, Ethan. You are prepared hunt. to take your war party to glory in a skirmish. Well done. <laughs> So that's cool. Continue, actually. Here. Yeah. So we have done the little tri um, tutorial. What I have learned from here, we have a, a, a hero unit which can give us a lot of, you know, powers and all that. It's like a very cool thing to have, actually. Uh, because in Age of Empires, you do not have that with your heroes. Uh, I mean, you know, people like Lahir and um, John of Arcus and all that. But it's also really nice because this one is quite, how should I say, similar to Power World. But here you have your hero units also be able to use special powers. Especially like um, back in there, uh, we had those three heroes which could use, you know, a sniper shot or something. Just here the same as well. But it seems we're going to have some more heroes in the future, it seems, I guess. But they will explain that to us and there seem to be more tribes, I guess, because if I check on Skirmish, you have random factions like Wildlanders, Necromans and Vithara, so we will just explore them soon enough as well and see how that will go. Uh, so far what we have learned more is that there are only two resources inside this entire game and that's the food and the crystals, which is really important, and we also have those generating powers which are important to our, you know, hero unit. And apart from that, there's a lot of upgrades, seams, and not many buildings. We can also build your buildings quite close to your settlement and keep them safe from things. Like, you don't need wood or so uh, to upkeep them, which is quite nice. Because why would you need wood to build farms and all? So, it's quite an interesting uh, future in here. And, uh, you know, I, I just want to get jump into the campaign and really tempted to see what it is because the story is already starting to get me going and it's a lovely game the music is quite nice so far as well but uh, we're gonna talk later with the, the game commentary video because in my opinion the graphics is also cool it's really mythical and all that and it's just a nice strategy game so far I've not seen any bugs yet and uh, as I said it has some similarities with the uh, power world uh, with the dinosaur kind of theme and all that but um, it doesn't take like in real world as well. This is like really prehistoric and it's quite nice. And so far it also seems to have some functioning multiplayer it seems. No games found yet but it, I don't know maybe I just cannot see it. Player ranked, uh, no. Unranked, no. Maybe leaderboard? Ah there we go, downloading here. Yeah. Since people do play this game but not too much I guess. Or there are but it's just not much people right now. But uh, that's okay, so uh, yeah, there's also some Discord, there's Twitter, there's YouTube and Facebook. But um, we'll do good, so um, this shall be it with the tutorial. And if you did uh, enjoy it, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something, recording them together that's possible as well? Just write down comments box below or add me on Steam and we can have a chit chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next video.